That's good barrel. That's gone. Let's go. Yes, sir. What up, what up? We're here with the Baseball Bat Bros. And today, folks, we got a big one. The $550. 2022 Marucci Cat 9 Composite. Let's get it. Ladies and gentlemen, here we have the new official most expensive bat in the world of BB Core baseball bats. The first ever composite BB Core high school and college bat from Marucci, the Cat 9 Composite. There you see it. This is the pastime version. I would assume maybe when they release like the regular paint job Cat 9 Composite, it'll drop down to 500. But with the custom pastime American flag edition, 5 50 folks a two-piece composite you have that same connector piece as the cat 9 connect i will say guys the u triple sa version of the cat 9 composite absolute heat oh missed it bad that's going far no that was a pop-up Super, super good. If this is anything like that, we'll hype it up. But guys, you know how BB Core is. It's restricted performance. The bats are meant to be safe, essentially. You can't make them as good as possible. I think it's honestly very, very ballsy to make a composite BB Core bat $550. In my opinion, that's outrageous. That's way too expensive. I actually think a lot of alloy bats are better than pretty much all the composite bats. But who knows, guys? This is a new one. Again, the first ever composite BB Core from Marucci. Maybe they freaking cracked the code, folks. This thing looks incredible. This is one of the best looking bats I've ever seen. Just the matte American flag paint job. You got the white, thick, squishy, iconic marucci grip there we have a 3330 here and this is composite so we're gonna head into the cage and put about 100 swings on this guy see if we can break it in a little bit we have a good 65 70 degree day here good conditions for composite let's try this out folks is it worth 550 dollars or at the very least will this even crack our top 20 bb core list let's get it all right folks the world premiere of the first bb core from marucci the cat 9 composite the most expensive bat ever. Forget BB Core, forget U-Trip, forget Beaser. This is the most expensive baseball bat that has ever come out besides the gold College World Series Omaha Meta. But this is like, you know, retailers are selling this for $550. So in that sense, most expensive bat ever. Let's see if it's worth it, guys. At the very least, we're going to swing some Victus bats, which is the same company as Marucci, essentially. And we'll see if maybe you can save 150 or 200 bucks by swinging one of those alloy bats instead. But going into it, I have a little bit high expectations because the Cat9 Composite U-Trip is probably the single hottest U-Trip composite bat you can get. BB Core though is a different story, guys. I don't know. Oh, I got that very good. One hop. One hop. All right, that died. One that, hop, roll hop. that died. By the way, we put a good 100, 150 swings on this guy to get it nice and broken in. It could definitely use more, but we're letting you guys know what this bat's gonna perform like in the you know the first couple weeks you get it. Cam moves to Seattle, Washington for his first day of college tonight, bro. Yeah, so tonight. guys, wish him luck. You can follow him. He's gonna be a Washington Husky repping in the Pac-12, baby. Go dogs. Go dogs. Will. Oh. Yeah, I guess I only hit base hits. I don't know. One hop. It's a little heavier than I expected. This isn't like CF or ADV or Meta toothpick light. This is this has a little more envelope than a lot of the composites. That's pretty good barrel. That's pretty good barrel. Come on, ball. There we go. Barely snuck out. That was pingy, bro. Very pingy. Oh! Wow. All right, okay, initial three swings in, four swings in. I'm, I'm really not blown away. I will say it, it's the most impressive looking bat I've seen in a while. It looks incredible. Get out. One hop. Oh, I thought that went over. 
I thought that was hop was going right way. into the car. Yeah, that's why I, don't have, I forgot I don't have juice. Decent barrel? Yeah, I felt like I got that pretty good. Got that pretty good. A little bit in on the hands. Got that pretty good. A little bit in on the hands. Wow. Die. Ground rule double. 550, bro. I don't know. Is off the end? No. God, that died so bad. Die, dude. It doesn't even feel good. That's good barrel. That's gone. Let's go. Yes, sir. Woo! That was hammered. All right, so, so far, the performance is a lot more out on the end. When you get jammed, it doesn't hurt, and the barrel looks really good down here. It jumps further out here, though. With a lot of these composite bats, what I find is that the sweet spot feels good, and it sounds good, and it feels like a lot better than some alloy bats, but when it really comes down to it, the sweet spots perform pretty dang similar. I think the alloy bats are a little bit hotter even when you really square it up. Soft. There you go. There you go. Maybe. That's not, wow, that's I, that's not out. No, that died hard. Wow. Did you get a decent barrel on that? Toward my hands. Yeah. Okay. So the, the, towards the hands, it, it feels like, oh, I got that pretty good. And yeah. then it just dies. Like that one. Bad. Yeah. yeah. You could get a voodoo for $200 less. One hop. See, that was a little bit hands. Yeah, it sounds different a bunch. Like small sweet spot or what? Yeah, the sweet spot is, it's like the sweet spot's forgiving, but it's not really big. Get out, yes. You got one. No. One hop. Blame it on the bat. Good boy. Oh, yeah. Come on, ball. Oh, wow, ball. Wow, dude. That's crazy. Interesting. It's not flying. No. Oh, That's yeah. really good barrel. One hop. One hop. Uh, it's not a bad bat. It doesn't suck. I'm just like, my expectations are here, guys. It's 550 bucks. Like, the sweet spot's pretty good. The swing weight's manageable. It's definitely not a toothpick. Definitely more in the five or six range on the swing weight scale initially. Uh, I'll take some hacks with the Victus Knox and a couple with the Vandal kind of get some more perspective on it here. Let's see if we get some more power out of those. All right, so first up here, the uh, th I don't know what the Victus Vandal 2 is gonna be. Last year, the Victus Vandal was $350, and this is a one-piece alloy with a composite end cap. I would assume this one's also gonna be $350, a good 200 bucks less than that uh, Marucci Cat9 composite here. So let's try this out. I, I really like this bat. Very, very light swing. Yeah, so that's oh, definitely lighter. So this is one of the lighter BB cords you can get your hands on. Uh, this is more like an eight on the swing weight scale. Definitely lighter than the Cat9 composite. Later ball. Later ball. Oh, see ya. I, I love this bat. I'd already picked this over that. Get it up. That's out. I mean, what I felt like I was taking the same swings with that. That was hammered. Those are your two hardest hit balls of the day. Yeah. That's all you need to see. All right, so that's a good bat. Now a couple hacks with a bat that's gonna be a little bit more end loaded. I expect this to be a bit heavier than the Cat9 composite. We have the two piece hybrid Victus Knox. Expensive, but still 400 bucks, $150 cheaper than that. Very into the bat. And yeah, this is definitely a little bit heavier. So this is more like a four. The Cat9 composite kind of falls right between them. Oh yeah. Ooh. Barrel. Oh wow. <laughs> that was a line drive. Yeah, this has more thump on it, dude. Oh. Oh. Damn. Goodbye. Okay. So initially, guys, uh, if you're a contact hitter, I prefer the Victus Vandal, $200 cheaper. If you're a power hitter, I prefer the Knox. 
$150 cheaper, just completely being honest. I don't think this is worth $550 so far. It, again, it doesn't suck, just those are amazing bats and this is unnecessarily expensive. Pretty good barrel, yep. All right, that's, that's a good piece. The swing weight's definitely, I think, like right in between. So this is gonna be more like a six swing weight, maybe a five. I mean, I feel like I just lose the barrel with this bat. Yeah, it's just, I can't swing it's it. It's weighted far. differently too. That was a major league ball. There you go. <laughs> it took a minor league ball. <laughs> but even that, that that sound, that's what I'm talking about. I know, it's so weird. Like I can't tell if I'm like, you know, you're like, I kind of got that ball. You don't even know. I don't know, and it domes me up that I don't know. Classic composite, bro. Like and that's like, a, hey, that's a deal breaker alone. Yes, dude. And if it's five hundred, okay, maybe if it's two hundred bucks, yeah, sure. But if it's five hundred and fifty dollars, it needs to be perfect. It needs, it's got to be perfect. It needs to be perfect. Better barrel. One hop. Two hop. There you go. There you go. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> I mean. Unreal, dude. Unbelievable. Unreal. Uh, exit velo testing will really tell the story though. Maybe this surprises us, folks. All right, guys, there you have it. Our initial thoughts on the Marucci Cat9 Composite BB Core. Again, this is my favorite bat in U-Trip for composite bats. The Drop 5 Cat9 Composite is dumb. Absolutely stupid. It's an incredible bat. The BB Core, it just wasn't very special, guys. Honestly, again, I'm judging it very harshly because it's a $550 bat. It needs to be perfect or we're going to let you know that there's better bats for cheaper. As far as swing weight goes, we'll kind of break down the different attributes there. It's right in between these two bats. The Nox we have at a four. The Vandal we have at I think an eight. So this will be right around a six probably. A, a pretty manageable swing weight. Not very unloaded, but not super balanced either. The sweet spot is very similar. It's right around the range of these. Maybe like a, maybe even a little less, honestly. Maybe like a seven or an eight on the sweet spot. And then power, we're gonna have to do exit below testing. But initially guys, I would not spend $550 on this. If you want a balanced bat with a good forgiving barrel, I would save yourself a good 200 bucks and pick up the Victus Vandal. That's a very, very good bat right here. But with that said, folks, I mean, that's just our initial impression, right? Let's get this thing on the hit tracks, see how it stacks up against some alloy barrels here. See if the exit velo blows us away. I don't really expect it to, but let's go check it out. All right, fellas, we're in here on the hit tracks at the Yard Baseball Academy with the Cat9 Composite BB Core. You guys don't have to trust us and our on-field preferences, but you do have to trust the hit tracks data. So let's see if this can hang with the much cheaper Victus Vandal 2 today. 88.6, that was a little bit towards the end. <laughs> Ooh, really good barrel right there. 95.9, that's pretty good. 91.7, 320. Ooh, that's almost perfect, perfect. 96.5. Ooh, that's really good barrel. 98.7, there we go. Ooh, that's really good barrel too. 98.6. 91.7. See, dude, like that almost felt the same as the last two. And just that sweet spot's tough to trust. You don't really know what you're getting. Sounds different, too. 93.4, 399. 99 flat. That was absolute perfect, perfect. All right, fellas, so I'm honestly pretty impressed with how that just did. We got all the way up to 99 flat. To be fair, for the first time in like all of Bat Bros, I've been lifting weights. But we have this as a pretty controlled apples to apples experiment right here. We have the Victus Vandal 2.0. Last year's was $350. This is a one piece alloy with composite end cap, a lighter bat than the Cat9 composite. The sweet spot honestly feels pretty similar. Let's see if it can beat it in pop. 99 is the score to beat. The average is gonna be right around in the 95 range, I believe. Ninety-four flat off the end. Ooh. 99.1. That wasn't even very good, and that already is our high. Ooh. 97.5, a little bit towards the hands. 96.9. Dude, the cat nine comp is hanging a lot better than I thought it was. It really is. 100.9. 
hundred point one for three seventy. All right, we have a winner so far, folks. Dude, honestly, one of the biggest factors is just a better taper. That handle's just thick all the way through and has a really tall knob on it. This flares into the knob better. Uh, jam shot. 98 mile an hour jam shot. Oh, uh, I got under it. That's gonna go so far. 99.1, 401. Off the wall. It said 387, but it says 401 on the top, so I don't know what that means, but. Go ball. 98.5. Oh, I was way too low, 300 feet. 99.8. Wow. All right, one more with each here. And for this last swing, we're going to use high compression, low seam baseballs that are meant for pitching machines. So we'll get a good added bonus to our exit velo here, but it'll be fun to still see the max from each. All right, pearls. Pearls, baby. Let's freaking do it. Oh! 98.5309. 100 point one. Alright, one more. We gotta get one out of here. Yeah, you do. Oh, 104! <laughs> Alright, those baseballs are stupid. <laughs> All right, folks, so there you have it. The Cat9 Composite versus the Victus Vandal 2. Just going through the different categories here. Uh, swing weight, the Vandal definitely wins a clearly lighter bat. It's also just more comfortable to swing. You have a little more compact, uh, tighter grip on there. So swing weight for sure going to the Vandal. Pop, guys, I mean, you saw the Vandal just outdid it in terms of max velo and also average exit velo. That's pretty typical in BB Core alloy versus composite, guys, honestly. I've always found that for the majority of a bat's life, alloy is going to be Hotter. Maybe when this thing is freaking a thousand swings deep and almost ready to break, it's going to get better than the Vandal one day. But guys, for freaking 75% of this bat's life, I think alloy is going to be hotter, honestly. And then sweet spot, it's kind of a double-edged sword because this bat feels amazing and sounds amazing, but really the performance on mishits is kind of the same. This is a really good sweet spot bat for how wide it is, honestly. So guys, if you're putting the price tags in front of me, 550 versus 350, or even if this ends up being 400, I think the Vandal's definitely more worth it than the Cat9 composite. It's a pretty typical setup for these really expensive composite BB core bats. It looks incredible. It sounds incredible. It feels really nice, but it really doesn't perform any better than a bat like this. I think this is just objectively a better bat for any hitter. I don't care if you're a freshman in high school or a senior in college. This is a really similar build to the DeMarini Voodoo 1, and it's gonna get freaking praised for that. It's a light swinging bat with a decently forgiving sweet spot that can still light up the radar gun. We'll eventually have to match this up against the Voodoo 1. Maybe it gets there in bat madness. It still has some work to do. And while the U-Trip uh, Drop 5 version of this Cat9 composite, as you guys recently saw, is I think objectively the single hottest u a composite bat you can get. Just these BB core restrictions require a much, much different barrel design. And I just don't think these composite barrels can do quite what the alloy barrels can do for the majority of their life. So while this thing looks incredible, it sounds incredible, it feels very nice to swing. I don't think it's worth $550 and I think you can get a better bat for a lot cheaper. The Victus Vandal, the Victus Knox, the Select Power, the Voodoo One, the Goods, just to name a few. So with that, we'll put together a Bat Bro scale for the Cat9 composite early on here. It might crack the top 20, definitely not the top 10. Comparing it to a bat like the DeMarini Zoa, it's a lot similar to that, honestly, just a little bit lighter. Again, guys, I'm a broken record, but I think alloy is the way to go in BB Core. So we appreciate you guys hanging out today. If this video helped you out, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to help support us, go to baseballbatbros.com and check out our merch over there. We also have all of our BB Core, U-Trip, and Wood Bat rankings. We will see you all next time. Peace out. Like, it's so oh. much different, dude. <laughs>